Pisces, hey Pisces. It is Ray. I am here with your February 2022 monthly predictions. Let us pray and then we'll get into it, okay? I actually started your reading at 12.22. The number two is significant. We'll get into it. 12.22 um, p.m. And it's just 22 seconds on the timer. So the number 2.22 and 2.22. And February is the two month. You're the second sign I'm doing today. Um, God, source, angels, ancestors, guides, universe. Please use me to guide Pisces on their February 2022 monthly predictions. Um, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel, clear vessel. Gratitude, Ashe. So, Pisces, hold on. A lot of you are feeling like you're in second place in the month of February and you're in a run to get to for first place. There's an energy of justice um, in the month of February. The You ha had three songs that played for your energy. Um, and it's interesting because I had three, three more signs to do for February. You were the last sign on my list. Like when I was praying, I looked up at the list and saw that you were third. So, a lot of you are feeling like you're in last place or a lot of you are feeling like you're in second place, you're in competition. Um, so self-confidence, self-worth and self-esteem is definitely coming up for you in February. Um, the songs for you were Brighter Day by Kirk Franklin, Die a Real Nigga by Yo Gotti and Moment for Life by Nicki Minaj. There's something about Yo Gotti's song and your energy um, because when that song started playing, I started thinking about the justice card. And let me, there's lyrics I'm going to read to you. As specifically um, from the second and third song, okay? So something about 222, also 333. Um, but hold on, Pisces. Okay, so it says, this is the last, um, the last part of the song. He says, I ain't soft on these hoes. I ain't cross on my folk. Feds come and scoop me, my mouth staying closed. So I'm a die real nigga. My mouth staying closed. Mouth staying closed. My mouth staying closed. I ain't crossing my dogs. I ain't selling my soul. Can't love you bitches. I don't trust you hoes, okay? That's from that. Now let's go to Moment for Life and the part that stood out for you by Nicki Minaj. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I call the shots. I am the umpire. I sprinkle holy water upon a vampire. In this very moment, I'm king. In this very moment, I slayed Goliath with a sling. This very moment I bring, put it on everything that I will retire with the ring. Okay. So I'm very curious to see what your overall energy is for the month of February because it's a lot of things going on. Um, with your song starting, the first song for you being Brighter Day by Kirk Franklin, um, brighter days are coming for you, Pisces. Um, also the energy of standing alone in the month of February. And it's interesting because your sister sign is Virgo and Virgo's theme for February is community shifts. Um, I definitely watch, oh, I definitely recommend watching the Virgo February, 2022 reading. Um, if you click on the playlist, you can either click on the February, 2022 monthly predictions to find Virgos or um, you can click on the Virgo playlist to find their reading as well for February. Or you can just click on, go to my pro profile, click on videos and scroll down to Virgo's reading. <clears throat> but there's, there's community shifts, um, feeling like you have something to prove. Because even though um, 
what is it, Some to Prove by Lil Baby. That song didn't start playing, but going back to Yo Gotti's song, there's something that you have to prove. There's something that you're standing firm on, that you're not folding on, that you're not wavering on. And um, if you're not standing by yourself, like this is like you just, it's you and your partner. And I'm getting like a you against the world type of energy. I'm also getting there's someone or something that you're writing really hard for. Um, and no matter what they do that's right or wrong, you're going to continue to write for them in the right and in the wrong. This is giving me hella write or die type of energy. Um, be careful though. This is also if you smoke, there's a need to be more clear in the month of February. Like you need to be very, very meticulous on how you move in the month of February. Um, yeah yeah let's get into your overall energy for the month and now i hear bad bitch contest you in first place there's something about looking in the mirror as well and not liking what you see not being happy with what you see or it's like i was getting the energy of scrying with you as well look up scrying if you don't know what it is it's spelled s-c-r-y-i-n-g um, and it's like when you look in the mirror and you reflect on your life, you're not, you're unhappy, you're dissatisfied. So what is the overall energy for Pisces in the month of February 2022? Pisces, February 2022 overall energy. Did I pray already? God, source, angels, ancestors, guides, universe, please use me to guide Pisces on their February 2022 monthly predictions. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel and clear vessel. Gratitude, Ashe. Also, yes, this came up um, when I was getting to your energy. Watch the Gemini, Virgo, watch the Virgo and Gemini readings for February 2022. Um, and Gemini got this energy, truth, okay? And you're receiving truth as your overall energy as well. And on the bottom, we have standstill, but I'm not going to take it. I'm actually being called to pull from this deck to get your overall energy. So, yes, yeah, some hard truths are being exposed. It's like you're being told the truth about something, but you're in denial. Or it's like when someone is telling you about yourself, you're standing firm in the lie Ooh, sorry, that fell to the ground quickly and it's 12 30 p.m one two three it's like thing like step by step things are unfolding for you to see the truth and once this truth comes full circle like it's like you're gonna wish you that you would have listened okay and then, oh, we have the storyteller. The storyteller could be associated with lies. It's like lies versus truth, truth versus lies. This is also 17, the star card. So you're rewriting your own story that going back to that moment for life. Um, you're, I'm here closing a, a chap. I hear closing a new chapter. But closing a chapter and starting something new, but it's like something that you just started, you're closing because it's unhealthy for you. Um, there is a blue ink here. So this is throat chakra. So you may be speaking. There's something to do with truth being exposed when it comes to speaking or their throat chakra or um, having a platform or something like that. So I hear you're the leader of a tribe. And the tribe is betraying you or the tribe has betrayed you but there's a feather here as well so what's happening it's like your ancestors are trying to wake you up to something um the 17 card again representing the um star card which is representing aquarius like you're stuck. There's, there's something that has you fucking stuck and in a state of shock in the month of February. But with this feather, and this feather is reddish brown. 
So there's a need to be more grounded, be more clear. There's a need to reevaluate your foundation. There's a need to look at your stability. Um, some of you are really overexerting yourself. Um, some of you are going to realize how everyone in your circle is a friend, is a, is a foe and not a friend. It's like you, and even though they're foes, you're focused on them being a friend. When little things have been shown to you that these motherfuckers are not your friends. So the way we're doing today is spread. And it's like wanting to, it's like wanting to ignore it, wanting to bypass it, wanting to jump forward. But it was one, two, three on a time or one, two, three. Like you have to go through these steps. Um, this truth is leading to a tower moment that's leading to a new beginning so that you can be in first place, Pisces, um, in your life and in your world. Um, there's a key here. So something is being unlocked. For some of you may be going through old journals, like what life was like this time last year. Um, some of you need to start a new journal on February 1st. Um, you need to journal your dreams. You need to journal every event that happens, every interaction that happens, every feeling. And then when the month, like when we get to March 1st, you need to reread the entire journal to see what truth has been exposed that you've been ignoring. I hear February 17th. Okay, February 17th, the king is back. All right, let's get into your four weeks. So we're going to see what week one through four looks like, tie it all in together and see what final messages we have or spirit has for you. We have for you because your spirit team is talking. Spirit, please guide me on the four weeks ahead for 12.34 in the time limit. Four weeks ahead for Pisces. I was about to say Scorpio. The South Node in Scorpio is really affecting you. Um, Scorpio is a water sign. You're a water sign. And Gemini energy. You're the two fish. Gemini is the twins, the two heads. Being stuck in two minds about something. Watch the Gemini Battle of the Minds that was um, their reading for January 2022. I hear a battle on the internet. <laughs> All right, Pisces, February 2022. The energy of forgetfulness as well needing to cleanse the energy around you some of you when i said cleanse the energy around you i heard dark magic some of you have been working with this some of you have been sending evil eye some of you have been wishing on another's downfall this is going back to that justice energy diarrhea nigga some of some of you are having to have a conversation with someone that you perceive as an enemy and this enemy is going to tell you some hard truths about yourself, right? And you're going to try to paint this enemy out as a liar, as a storyteller, when really they're the truth teller. Again, this is collective, so get in where it fits in, I hear. There's something about staying in your lane. And then, and now I see a car swerving into multiple lanes. Speeding, eight of wands energy, going really, really fast. Some of you are aggressive drivers. You need to be careful of that. Like, you need to be careful of that in February. Be mindful of accidents. It's like your mind is so on go mode you're so furious and getting fast and furious energy that you're not clear pisces you're not clear some of you need to refrain from having sex as well because the sex has your mind discombobulated <laughs> oh my god i mean it's also cut again all right yeah reframe 
Yo, I saw the four. <laughs> I saw the four of wands. I was about to say the four of swords. Yeah, you need to take a rest. The two of cups is on the bottom. Sex discombobulated. Some of you are attracted to women. Like same sex. It's, if you're a woman watching this, you want you want to do the nasty with a woman. Spirit, what does week one of February look like for Pisces? Thank you. What is week two? What does week two look like for Pisces? What does week three look like for Pisces? What's going on, Pisces? And what does week four look like for Pisces? What does week four look like for Pisces? Can I just get one card, please? Somebody else had this now. When I said one card, I heard one wish. Another sign had that. I don't know who. Pisces, 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 Pisces. The energy over for you the last uh, couple of months has been a lot of drama with people. I've noticed that. Drama, drama, drama. Some of you thrive off of drama. That's very unhealthy and very toxic, by the way. something about ancestors too pisces like i was energetically called to clarify with my ancestor deck and then i said i'm not sharing my ants like to myself to my spirit team i was like no i'm not using my ancestor deck for pisces <laughs> uh so you are ignoring your ancestors they're helping to bring this hard truth forward step by step oh the father of water, the king of cups came out. Flew in my lap. All right. Tribal. Some of you are tribal. Some of you are Indian. Or a lot of you are discovering discovering your tribe in the month of February. But yeah, you see these two people on top of his head? Can you see that? This is like, this is giving me Gemini energy, battle of the minds going back and forth like it's like the angel on the shoulder and the devil on the shoulder but you're choosing to embody the devil on the shoulder when you you should be embodying the angel but it's like when you embody the angel you don't see the results that you want but you get what you want when it comes to embodying the devil which is the energy of manipulation it's like you're not being patient with spirits so you're you're going back to that thriving off of drama like and some of you know exactly what the fuck you're doing too. And I don't like this energy. Me personally, I don't, I don't like this energy. But some of you are very... Some of you, when someone tells you the truth about something, you just cut them off. It's like you don't like it, fuck it, you're done. When the real niggas around you will let you know where you're fucking up. Yeah, this is the truth card, four of swords that I saw. All right, please clarify these cards. Please clarify week one for Pisces. Week one for Pisces. Clarify, please. Let's clarify week one for Pisces. The lovers. Please clarify week two for Pisces. Leo, I saw the shrink card and I saw the sun card. Leo energy keeps coming up in Pisces energy as well. It's a lot of love going on here. Some of you, your lovers tell you a hard truth and you're going to want to cut them off. <laughs> but they're trying to help you write a better story for yourself. Please clarify with three for Pisces spirit, please. Thank you. Please clarify with three. Please clarify week four for Pisces. Uh oh, can I just get one? Please clarify week four for Pisces. Please clarify week four. Thank you. Okay. So for week one Pisces, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, clarified by the lovers. Week two, 
For Pisces, we have the Six of Wands reversed, clarified by Love, which is also the Two of Cups. Week three for Pisces, we have the Knight of Wands reversed, clarified by Disappointment reversed, and the Mother of Earth, which is also the Queen of Pentacles. And for the fourth week, we have Eight of Swords, clarified by Despair reversed, and Ace of Water, which is also the Ace of Cups. <sighs> There's a need for you to breathe. Pisces and calm the fuck down. <laughs> I hear take a chill pill. And now I hear Jeremiah Jeremiah on chill. Especially with this lovers and love. Okay, so week one of February Pisces with the eight of pentacles being reversed. Some of you love to overwork. Going back to your sister sign of Virgo. Virgos like to work. Virgos an earth sign. Some of you need to take a break from work, take a step back, and really, really connect with your ancestors. You see how these, um, the lovers, they have grown old together, and then their family tree, their names are in the family tree. So some of you are like going back to this uh, father of water and tribal energy. Some of you are getting more connected with your family tree. Some of you, I hear... Are getting DNA tests. Um, I hear 23andMe. Be mindful of those family lineage websites because they be bullshit, okay? But a lot of you are um, digging deeper in your roots. Um, you, I'm hearing generational, generational knowledge. You're getting to the root of generational trauma, uh, generational action. Um, a lot of you are connecting with parents or grandparents that have been married for a long time. But I'm getting the first week of February, there's a need to take a vacation. I know the first week of February, um, Mercury is going direct, but we are still in the shadow period. Mercury goes direct February 3rd, and um, the shadow period ends February 23rd. So be mindful of travel um, in the month of February, going back to that needing to slow down. But yeah, this is a... Uh, the first week of February, I'm getting, you're needing to take a break or energetically you're being called to take a break and really connect with your angels, elders, grandparents, ancestors, um, those that are growing old in your family. And this is also some of your partners are meeting your family for the first time in the month of February also. And I'm hearing a lot of you are being more closed off and more closed in meaning you need to go outside more um yeah um and the second week of february we have the six of wands reverse and love so when it comes to six of wands reverse that's lacking not feeling like you have the victory um lacking the fulfillment and the desire and the wishes um that you want to come true i believe the second week of february is around Valentine's Day season. When it comes to love here, there could be, like I'm getting the energy of expecting something for your, from your lover, but not receiving it. Some of you with this lover's card, it's like you're expecting to get proposed to, but you, you don't get proposed to. Um, or this is not feeling victorious with a lover, um, not feeling like their relationship is progressing, um, feeling the need to take a break or take a step back from a lover. Um, also, as I talk about the lovers, I'm being drawn back to the truth card. So this is going back to some truths are coming out about your lover as well. Um, Taurus had this energy also. So if your lover has Taurus placements, watch the Taurus uh, video for February 22. That's titled, Which Taurus Are You? That was, very, that was a very interesting read. But this is also, there are people, this card upright, there are people cheering her on. Her on. And like going back to the energy of community shifts for Virgo and Virgo being your sister sign, this is being feeling or lacking, not feeling victorious, lacking victory when it comes to community um, support where you're searching for, where you're searching for support is not being given to you. The people you want support from are not giving to you. This could be your lover. You, you're, it's like, you're wanting your lover to support your truth when the lo your lover is telling you no. So it's like being disconnected with a lover around the second 
week, the first and second week of February. Moving towards the middle of the third week, we have the Knight of Wands reverse, disappointment reverse, and the Mother of Earth. So this is giving me really focusing on yourself with the Knight of Wands. You have two wands here. They're both reversed. So this is like instead of things progressing forward, there's a need to take a step back. There's a need to slow down. There's a need to... Knight of Wands upright is giving me that fast and furious, on the road, aggressive driver type energy. But this is the need to slow the fuck down, take your time. A lot of you like to drive on the fast lane on the highway. You need to drive on the slow way, slow lane of the highway. You need to go the speed limit. Uh, with disappointment being reversed, you feel like because you're not, um, things aren't moving as fast as you like, you think that it's a disappointment. This is giving me operating hella in your masculine energy, right? But the more you slow down, the more you connect with yourself and the more you're embodying your feminine energy and the more you're attracting um, what you desire. It's like, you know, waking up to love donations or waking up to, if you own your business, waking up to sales, um, not doing overtime at work, but instead, you know, trusting in, in the fruition of your business, especially with this mother of earth being here, this or this is, you know, slowing down to come up with new ideas for your business, but know that I hear you're not going to be disappointed. You're really just disappointing yourself. Also, with whatever community or whatever disruption is happening, at first it's going to feel like, you know, lack of victory, but you're going to see how much these people were really, really depleting you. Um, and depleting your energy and depleting your life force. And moving to the fourth week, we have the Eight of Swords. Keeping yourself stuck, not wanting to see the truth of a situation. Um, despair reverse, and then the Ace of Water, which is the Ace of Cups. So you have this disappointment reverse and despair reverse. But you're keeping yourself trapped, right? So it's like in your mind, because this is swords, mind, energy, um, and Pisces season starts in February, so happy early solar return. Um, but with this, this is choosing to focus on the disappointment and despair instead of focusing on the new growth and new opportunities that you can accomplish by yourself. Um, going, I hear bad bitch contest her in first place again in my head. And this is, you know, heavy as the head that wears the crown. And sometimes the crown has to stand alone. All right. The queen rules by herself. Okay. The queen of England, even though she has a husband, she is ruling that country by herself. Okay. And with this ace of cups, you're going to realize how much more you are fulfilled. Your energy is here, Pisces. When you operate by yourself, it's like you work better alone than with the community. Okay. Okay. Let's get some more final messages for you, Pisces. Love came out a lot, so let's use the heart deck. There's a need for you to work with Carnelian in the month of February also. Pisces, February 2022. Now I hear Dyer a nigga playing. Some of you have certain beliefs that you're not voting on, and I hear as you should, but have discernment with that. There's a need to, yeah, clarity of belief, discernment. There's a need to have discernment, and that's why you need to, like, if you if you smoke, like, there's a need to be more clear because your discernment, your intuition, all of that is being affected. Ooh, throat chakra. Yeah. And going back to the storyteller, this blue ink, throat chakra, speaking up about something. There's a need, I hear, there's a need to be more quiet in the month of February. The throat chakra, I did see it reversed originally. So this is like your throat chakra is a little too active. A lot of you are not thinking before you speak. And because you're not thinking before you speak, you're getting yourself fucked up in the process is what I hear. With this five energy, some of you need to change the way that you speak, the, change the way that you self-express, um, be more open. Like when you, 
sometimes the the teacher needs to be a student and the month of february is asking you to be a student pisces like you need to learn from others you need to be guided by others there's a need to seek out higher wisdom with that lover's card messages for pisces in the month of february 2022 and there's a need to heal your throat chakra as well. Um, eat blueberries for the throat chakra, anything blue. Blueberry smoothie. If you're on the East Coast, I know it's cold. <laughs> Adjustments are required, Pisces, okay? I'm not even going to dig deeper on that because that's pretty much self-explanatory based on your reading today. All right, final messages for Pisces for February 2022. Adjustments are required with that throat chakra and your crown chakra because this is purple in this card. So the way that you think, the way that you speak, the way that you react, there's a need to work on emotional intelligence in the month of February as well, Pisces. Some of you need to <laughs> some of you need to do your laundry consistently okay it's like a lot of you you need to clean your house okay clean your room there's trash that needs to be taken out um clean your bathroom clean your tub clean your shower clean your sink clean your mirrors like you need just need to i hear clean up everything the internal and the external final messages for pisces for february Thank you. Anything else? Mm. Ace of water again on the bottom. Ace of cups. It says falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. Some of you are moving in the month of February. Others of you, like whenever, whatever this happens, whatever happens when it comes to the community you're connecting more with your lover it's like it's a sense of codependency happening with your lover all right so we have the will reversed the hermit reversed not wanting to take the time out that you need for yourself ego and the eight of fire the will upright says a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. With it being reversed, this is going back to the energy of slowing down. Um, to you, it may seem like negative changes are happening, but going back to despair being reversed and disappointment being reversed, everything is happening for you to grow um, into the best version of yourself. The hermit upright says spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. So it's like with that eight of pentacles, like you're wanting to, it's like you like to distract. You don't like to deal with yourself. You don't like to deal with your emotions. You like to distract, but you're going to be forced to be by yourself so that you can listen. You need to meditate more. Some of you need to listen to Landrell's self-care package. Um, he has a meditation for every chakra. So definitely I make a habit of that. You need to create a new healthier routine also in the month of February. And then we have the ego, which also represents the devil card and the modern tarot deck. We have a false self of a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear based thoughts. Yeah, this is you're not you're keeping yourself. The entrapment is you going back to that justice energy. You're the entrapment. And then we have eight of fire events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once so yeah these changes that are happening it's coming like a whirlwind it's coming like a tornado for you it's coming like i hear for like a motherfucking hurricane and now i hear hurricane chris um but this hurricane specifically is happening so that you can really ascend to the best version of yourself you're not operating in your higher self you're operating in your lower self and if you're trying to lead a community and a tribe like what 
What type of leader are you? And that type of leader is going to be shown to you in the month of February. And you're going to see the adjustments that are needed for you to really progress and be the leader that you desire to be. Okay, Pisces? Oh, again, happy early solar return. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. I love you. God bless you. See you soon, baby.